Okay, welcome back, dear viewers. Uh, got a quick video for you today, real quick. Um, don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanted to get this out. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did an Easter double header, started with Blood in the Chocolate, and then rounded out the game on Sunday with Rise of the Lagomorphs by Mark Hess. Um, so that's what I'm going to talk about today, but I'm also going to talk a little bit about what he and his brother are doing. It's a little uh, thing they call Wood Planet Gaming Lodge. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit more, but uh, they've been pumping out more than just lamentation stuff. Um, but let's get to this first. Um, so Rise of the Lagomorphs. Um, you can find the PDF on drive through for $2.09. And uh, if you want a physical copy, uh, Lulu has it for 7 uh, print on demand um i believe this concept uh was uh, had its origins on facebook um on the lamentations uh either the official or unofficial facebook page uh you know images and weird stuff get shared all the time and uh someone shared one of these images uh where these medieval monks are depicting uh psychopathic rabbits beheading and, and attacking knights and 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 serfs and 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 whatnot um and uh yeah lo and behold like a little while later mark has pumps this out so don't know if there's a coincidence there or not but uh, i'm glad he did because it's a fun little module um and um yeah it was a fun little module and we had a good time running it so um basically the idea is that there's a rabbit problem and they're mutants and this village needs help that's it that's that's the basic premise of this little uh this little module it's um i think 17 pages 18 pages uh and that's it um the what what is what is cool about it is not just some weird bestiary with mutant rabbits in it like the slugs uh supplement that lamentations put out um there's actually like a gameable thing going on here um uh, i say strict time records must be kept because um the rabbits are mutating but they they ate they burrowed into this uh, uh wizard's grave the the villagers rose up and killed this wizard and and buried him and and the rabbits eventually burrowed in there and started eating his flesh and now they're mutating and uh each day uh, so not only do you have to keep track of the mutations, but you also have to keep track about their numbers because they're rabbits, they're multiplying. <laughs> so, um, uh, it makes for a potentially very fatal and lethal encounter. Um, my crew got smart and, um, and uh, essentially like uh, barricaded them in a mine, uh, but they almost bit it. They, it was pretty tough. I was, I was a little concerned for them. Um, but yeah, phase one, there's just lots of rabbits. They cause all kinds of problems for the, the townsfolk. They'd like to see the rabbit population reduced. Um, hunting rabbit is easier, so you get like bonuses to your bushcraft roll, but there's a chance that your horse falls into a rabbit hole and breaks their leg. It's, they're a nuisance. Um, phase two, <clears throat> they grow to the size of dogs and they're a little bit more feral they're actually attacking people and at this point they are dangerous um, and so the rabbit hunt becomes a monster hunt phase three they become anthropomorphic uh, and that's where they they're stealing weapons and they're arming themselves um, and uh, they're preparing a revolution of sorts and then phase four they mutate further to like these giant kaiju type things Kaiju might be uh, overstating it, but they're giant rabbits, and they're completely mindless, and they're just eating everything in sight. And then they finally die. So this thing that happens eventually wears itself out. Um, the module includes a real cursory, basic explanation of the town. It gives you a, oh, a single NPC, which is a cleric that can help the party if they need it. There is a magic ring that can be found, and that magic ring is actually pretty cool. It's nice to see someone actually put that into a module for Lamentations. A lot of times it's just a lot of treasure, and uh, that's 
trapped horribly <laughs> oh, or some weird concoction that's like a more likely to harm than hurt so it was nice to see this uh, ring in there um, there is a map for the mine that the anthropomorphic rabbits use as their home base it's a little simple for my taste um, but there is a map there um, <clears throat> and other than the um, cover art I mean the rest is like this line drawings um, that are uh, done by Mark himself it's um, uh, more impressionistic sort of uh, artwork but um, but that's about it that's literally the entire module <coughs> so um, I sort of find I, I don't know if you've read the witch shack um, I, I have had a chance to run this it's actually on the map I use for Lamentations of Elemental Evil campaign no one's found it yet um, but Mar it, this module reminds me a lot of that. It's something that just sort of happens. There's no real plot hooks. Um, the players are just sort of traveling and they've come upon this village that has a problem with rabbits. Um, and it's, some people may find that boring, but in Mark seems to have a knack for that kind of horror where it's like incidental and it's completely, you're unprepared for it. Um, and, and you know, there's there's these types of movies, horror movies uh, out there too, where you just sort of like these, I don't know, teenagers gonna go to uh, to summer camp, right? And and that's all they're doing. And then oh, there's you know an undead murderer in the lake, you know, kind of thing. So um, it it does remind me of the witch shack, uh, and and in that same kind of that same vein of. Um, of uh, sort of incidental horror happenings. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a 50% chance for everything to mutate. I think I would lessen the chance so these like phases last a little longer. Um, but then again, the rabbits are multiplying so damn fast um, that maybe the 50% is a good thing. So it moves closer to that final stage where they just die. Because um, they, when they mutate, they get more hit dice. So they become harder and harder to kill. Um, but all in all, I do like this module. Um, do you need to buy the physical copy? I, I think that's going to be up to you. Um, I'm a fan, as you can see. Like I got all kinds of stuff from Mark, um, and uh, uh, so I, I'm going to buy the physical copies regardless. But um, but you know, if if this is something that you want to try out for two bucks, come on, it's a PDF. You'll have fun with it, um, and I do think there, there's replayable uh, value here. It's only in so far as um, it can be dropped in any campaign that you're running, just kind of change things up. So, but uh, but that's it for that. Now, what I wanted to talk about. Let's see if I can get this up. There it is. Wood Planet Gaming Lodge. Um, this is their website. <laughs> Well, this is the publication section of the website, um, but they have been doing stuff with White Star. I don't, I've never played White Star, but I guess it's like a sci-fi version of original Dungeons and Dragons, 0th edition. Um, and they have this thing that just came out, Defenders of Ultron. Um, it's like a three-part mini campaign. That's enough to get me to buy it. I haven't yet, but I think I might. I just don't do a lot of sci-fi. I'm more of like dark fantasy guy. They they picked up uh, Blood and Bullets, uh, the old West, this old West RPG. You got some expanded stuff for uh, White Star here, um, more White Star stuff. Uh, Invasion of the Best Pods. I think they actually ran an actual play for this on their YouTube channel. Um, and then they got some other really interesting things um, for what they've been doing um, with White Star. And then of course um, you got. The, the lamentation stuff from Mark here. Um, I think if you picked up the Doom that came to Chapman Farm, Rise of the Lagomorphs, uh, the Witch Shack, and Colony of Death, you'll have a really nice uh, colonial campaign um, that, you know, nothing against Europe. It is the default setting for lamentations, but 
you know, there were there were colonists in the state, so it'd, it'd be nice. It's nice to see that there's like someone out there making stuff that's in America at that time, like that gothic American colonial gothic kind of thing. Um, I know Raggy's got something coming out that's huge that takes place in Virginia, um, and I've been working on something myself. I'm gonna have to get back to it. But anyway, I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about Mark and Wood Planet gaming lodge check them out check them out um check out mark stuff um it's it's good i mean i really like colony of death um it's a nice little hex crawl through maryland so <clears throat> but uh but anyway that's all i got um i'm going to be running shadow dark this afternoon uh, in a dungeons and dads thing we're having our kids play and uh, i'll be talking a little bit about that on my blog so you might see that in a couple of days. We're going to get back to Lamentations of Elemental Evil. I had to skip a week due to life. Um, and I got a few more reviews coming, video reviews. So uh, stay tuned. If this is the kind of thing you like, you know, please hit like and subscribe and the bell icon. Yada, yada, yada. I got nothing against the flip through review, but I don't know. I, this is what my channel is about. I, pl I play games, I record myself playing games, and then I talk about them. Um, so there's very few flip through reviews that I think I get anything out of. I, I need to know was the game fun? And you know what? Rise of the Lagomorphs was fun. It's definitely worth two dollars. I, I, I think it's worth seven bucks. So um, pick it up. All right, that's all I got. Until next time, dear viewers. <laughs>